Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and in this video we're just going to cover um, the latest version of Engon Pro version 1.4 and the new Blender 4.2 LTS version so if you don't know what Engon Pro is it's an asset for optimizing Engon based with big fat faces that have got sides of more than four sides or for quads to um, create a low poly mesh that particularly in hard surface models maintains the form and the shape of the object so um, just first of all bit of housekeeping all right so in the latest version of blender we now have a new way of dealing with add-ons and extensions so extensions is the new version of add-ons for blender and when you first click on get extensions it will prompt you to connect to the internet so this will allow you to download uh, add-ons and also themes directly from the internet uh, and in particular from extensions.blender.org but going forward i believe different marketplaces will make their own repositories where you can download uh, paid assets as well now i will be upgrading engon in the near future to support extensions but for now um, you can still install it and it works with 4.2 um, as an add-on um, except the install button's gone and it's just been obfuscated a little bit and hidden over here so um, i think that they really want you to you know work with the extensions format Engon Pro 1.4 is the version I released a little while ago so let's just get rid of this uh, reference uh, model okay and look we've got this object here obviously it's got engons and it's got quads and that's not good for texturing software because especially with engons and especially with engons that have got um, some form of uh, cavity in them um, it can cause a lot of problems and other renderers because those renderers triangulate your mesh for you so what i'm going to do all I've got, this is just a basic cube with a bevel and a smooth by angle modifier on it. So just as a, by way of a really quick example, um, you know, the low to high poly workflow, the way that that works is you get a low poly mesh and then you bake the details of a high poly mesh into it. Um, and sometimes you would like to have, and sometimes you would like to um, have this become really low. Like at the moment we can see here in our statistics that this has got 2,882 faces, which is quite a lot. So let's apply these, okay. And one way that you might wanna do it is that you could tr first uh, triangulate your mesh, okay. And you get triangulated and then you get even more and then you wanna reduce that down because you need decimated you hit triangulate and you uh, decimate this right down but the problem is is that you start to get all of these artifacts uh, which can cause issues so what Engon Pro does is it also adds a data transfer modifier and if you want to know how that works is you make another copy of this without any of the um, modifiers on uh, you select face corner data you go to custom normals and you select that and then you can transfer the data from the original okay to that one so by clicking this create low poly button okay it does it all for you and you notice that we've gone and reduced our faces by some amount okay you can then come to this refine panel here right I'll pull this out so we can see everything a bit more okay and you can bring this all the way down and you'll notice that you can get right down to about 500 and you start to get a few artifacts which you could fix with your high poly that you bake your mesh into or you could keep it reasonably good and we're at about a thousand under a thousand faces for quite a complex object um, with more or less the same detail and very few visual artifacts. In fact, those artifacts might even be uh, caused by... No, they're still there, but... You then get a copy of this, okay, as your high poly and use that to bake your texture maps into this object. So, the beauty of Engon Pro is we'll go back a few steps, okay, we'll get rid of this guy altogether. 
okay is that you can do these things on mass without having to sort of apply and copy modifiers and details and you can do it all at the same time so what we'll do is we'll just quickly bring in a um, uh, obj from plasticity and we'll bring in a low poly from plasticity you'll notice this comes in very big okay but Engon pro has a detail uh, so what we'll do we'll rotate the object first there's a button for that because it came in on the wrong uh, up axis okay and then we're going to scale this down to 0 0.05 uh, to, and I just already know that that's still going to be quite tall about 10 meters tall but that's okay it's meant to be a domineering cyberpunk thing now I just want to turn shadows off here because that can cause a little bit of um, uh, chaos in the in the viewport okay and we go down to M Engon Pro I've exported this all out as Engon so you can see that this is all Engon based meshes okay and then we just want to click generally you just want to click create low poly but you may want to merge some of your objects first so like let's just hide all of this and let's just join all of these guys together as one okay Control J to join those and then we've got a f quite a few less uh, objects in the scene yeah that's much better yeah we're doing all right here okay so what we want to do is we just want to cre create low poly okay and we get our low poly and then object by object you can then amend the details okay so I think that looks good for those ones this one we probably want to be reasonably high this one we can see that we've got artifacts down there we can just drag that to be something like that okay and with our tires we can bring those down quite low okay because we want to bake our details in anyway and then you can use this paste detail so the selected object and it'll paste it to all of these guys here so we can turn our wireframe off and there we've got a low poly asset so if we go into wireframe mode we can see that that's reasonably low poly okay and it's also maintained a lot of the surface details now you've got little artifacts like this um, you generally bake those out now you may want to spend a bit of time on texturing these things and getting the UVs right but if you do have more basic objects you can use this unwrap combine and pack okay and that will create a, well, let's just say for a let's say for this one we can unwrap combine and pack for that okay we got that and we can also use another packer like UV pack master to pack it all together so we've got instant textures for that we can invert everything else and do the same okay and you can change your smart UV angle obviously for an asset like this you probably want to do more manual UVs than what this is and you will notice that blender might go into not responding for a bit while it thinks about it it's doing a lot and what I will say is we've got this one click low poly which basically does this and that all at the same time um, I would reserve this for uh, more basic assets uh, entirely because it can get very very heavy if it has to iterate through hundreds of assets to uh, do what it needs to do all right so that's all done so if we just open that up we can also just go and pack that one again as good as the blender packer actually is uh, UV pack master is better okay so we got that and then the process for the high poly is um, pretty much the same okay so um, we can import our high poly objects okay rotate it scale it by 0.05 in this case and um, we just hit the create high poly button for everything and you're done but we've also got some extra tools here to um, like let's say you wanted to add vertex colors so we could select this and we could just you know if you wanted to add some vertex colors you can do that and you'll be able to view those by looking at attribute mode and you can add vertex color to the whole mesh so for example and that's you know if you wanted to 
add smart materials to your whole object this could be really useful and things like that and um, substance and then you can take it out and bake it um, in your favorite baker or your maps um, you just because everything here has been given the same um, names you just then unhide everything select everything and then you can um, export it as an fbx or whatever i've done a few other tutorials on how to do that as well so we won't bother going into that but that's just a sort of quick overview of engon pro in its most recent iteration um, uh, you can check the release notes from the last version um, i did change the um, functionality of uh, a few of these things to be a bit more intuitive um, but overall it all works and once once again yeah blender market you can buy it directly from my own website uh, for a cheaper price um, or and you can get it on gumroad as well and look i'll be doing a full video on blender 4.2 soon um, so check that out and i'll see you in the next one Tschüss.